Good morning and welcome to day 11 of our Florida mega trip. We've had a slight change of plan. We're meant to be at Blizzard Beach today, but it's closed. I did not know this. But we're at Aquatica, it's Sunday, so we thought we'd get a wall park out of the way at the weekend because you do not want to go near any of the major parks at the weekend. So we're here, I've just walked in, and uh, we're gonna go get some bed and ride some rides. I'm looking forward to it. It's the first day without Laura, so it feels a bit weird, but um, hopefully I'll do all right on my own. But yeah, the gang's behind me. They're a bit slow, you know? <laughs> but yeah, let's go. What ride's that in the background, Lou? Forget the water ride. The coaster. Oh, Manta. Yes, correct. Didn't think you'll get that. First tip of the day, get her early. Because the ropes just dropped and everyone's just legged it to beds under an umbrella. Luckily, we got ours. So Lewis doesn't get burnt. <laughs> Switched over to the GoPro. What one are we doing first, Lou? Ray Rush. That's the newest one, right? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, left side. So we get to the top and it's shut. But it's pretty cool. The woman just legged it down the, the, the ride. She's in the tube somewhere. So we've got a queue for this now. We've got to wait for this, queue for that. There she is. <laughs> I think someone dropped something down the ride, that's why it's shut. So she's had to go get it. So I think they got it up and running. And we're like second in line. I think these guys are gonna test run it, no? Is that what they just said, Luke? Hey. So we just done Ray Rush after it being broken down. It was good timing actually. As we just walked past, back towards the races, there is a huge kids area. Ideal for parents with kids, obviously. A lot of seating, very loud. So if you do not have kids, I would recommend not going there because that is uh, very busy. They got the sprays like Volcano Bay. Keep our little feet warm. I mean, wet. Yeah, you're sliding in your little trainers. Yeah, little Shoot. I think me and Lou are going to go do some races right now. So hopefully mum can record the bottom. She's not very good with technology. Yeah. Bit of a dinosaur, really. And I don't have my uh, glasses on, so I don't know what you'll get. There they are. <laughs> And here they come. <laughs> I shouldn't say this, but Lewis has got white, bo white track um, bottoms on, so we don't know if they're see-through or not. <laughs> Do you remember these? They are a lot of fun. But now we're heading over to this one to ride this. I don't think I've been on this one. I think this is a new family one. I don't remember there being anything there. No, me neither. This will be fun. 
And later, once we've done all the rides, I'm gonna go around the park with my phone and get off this GoPro. Yeah, yeah lift sister, I kind of want to be on that tube. Care, care, curl. Yeah, nice. Short but sweet, this looks. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the speed on that. If you lose an article, please inform one of the guards and they'll notify the proper personnel. That was good, short but sweet. He wouldn't uh he wouldn't let me record. I assume because of that drop was so steep, so it might fly out my hand. But that was fun, right? That was good, that was good yeah. Now the queue's now the queue is now out of the entrance. This is why we get to parks for entry. It's just too long. So now we're gonna go ride these two people tube slides. And there's a cool little feature down here. There's a weight platform. It saves you getting to the top and finding out you're overweight and can't ride, so you can check down here. Let's go ride these tubes. Whoa! <laughs> there's some face on there. There we go. Always went to the end. Yeah, I want the middle one. What? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy carrying it? <laughs> Wanu Way or Omaka Roka? Either way, we're going to do both. So these ones, I think they're single tubes. Yeah, down there. These are shut. I don't know if you can see through there. But they've got some sort of scaffolding up, some sort of maintenance. But we don't want to do them ones, do we? Here's a better look. We're not too gutted about these ones. They're quite uh, quite slow. A little bit boring. And up here, the two on the left aren't working. We're just riding these two today. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Oh, oh. oh here we go. So we just come off these slides. Unfortunately, just the two right ones, the purple and the blue one, was open. We did the blue first, then the purple. Favorite Lou? I think the blue because the double drop up. Yeah? yeah? Is that your favorite? So See, I'm going controversial, I'm going purple. Just because it was so much quicker, I thought. Right, the drops were a lot, a lot it was, steeper. It was quicker, but I prefer the end bit on the blue. That's fair, but on both, we ended up coming right to the end to the, to the uh, steps. So that was a lot of fun. So now let's head back, find Mum, because I know she wants to do the uh, Lazy River. And we'll take you around that. We're going bobbing, heading into the Lazy River now, Roaring Rapids. But first, you need that on, Mum. I got mine on. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Until the Volcano Bay one come out, this was your favourite, wasn't it? Yes. Very good. And you, didn't you, you lost an earring in here, didn't you? We found it somehow. Yeah, Robin found it. <laughs> oh. Oh. See ya. Uh huh. I forgot how good this one was. No, no, no. Yeah. We'll see ya. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> you just scraped that knee, I think. Caution, island ahead, face forward. I tell you what, if you sit like me, I can feel my stomach. The good stomach exercise. <laughs> just yeah, I, here like this with your feet out. I don't know about that one. I need to go to the gym and do this. I feel like legs behind you is quicker. Oh, 
Oh, there's a wave. There's a wave. There's a wave. Oh. There's another wave. Oh. Catch up! I don't think he's trying to fall I'm gonna let the island decide where I go. Oh You ready? I can't move. You ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's touched the floor yet, other than trying to catch up. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so I thought I'd give you a quick tour of the park. It's the main entrance. As you come in, there's bang, slide straight away. Now these slides are aren't tubes. They're single riders, obviously. And when I head around here, you go through a section of the um, dolphin area which is pretty neat but the pace you go at I doubt you even see them but that's around there this is a part of the lazy river with tubes which does connect to them slides up there so as you go around the lazy river you can choose to uh, get off and ride them rides up there I haven't yet been on them there's your tower turns this is the part I was on about. As you can see, we'll wait for someone to come around. So they go through the dolphin area and then out the other side. So to be fair, they were going pretty, pretty slow. So you might be able to see something. Let's go across this bridge quick, across the uh, lazy river. So as you can see, you come off them slides and then straight into the lazy river. And all these people are queuing for tubes and then you go around the other side and the queue's just through there just to the left of that entrance is the exit of them slides that go through the dolphins i'll find out the name hopefully when i go around but let's go back turn right and go over the main bridge that right slide is very slow <laughs> that darker blue one barely going moving on as we come down the stairs just to the left you can get your pictures taken with the dolphins see if we can see any there they are that's pretty neat as you come down the stairs to the right kiwi traders it's like their merch shop for the basic stuff so right here in the mornings is the uh, the rope the rope drop. Over there is your lockers, and you can hire towels. But we're gonna go we're gonna go left and work our way back. It doesn't go around in a circle. It's just round here and the wave pool and stuffs over there, and then you head round to the right down there. We're gonna go left first. The Waterstone Grill. This is the restaurant we saw. They do the pretty basic stuff, salads and sides, cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers, crispy fish sandwich, chicken tenders, kids meals. We're going to come out of the restaurant and head left. So the first set of rides we come to is Wanu Wei and Maka Raka, I think. My brother, <laughs> my brother preferred the, uh, the blue one because of the double drop at the end. I preferred the purple one because all the drops in the slide are a lot steeper, which meant you go a lot quicker. But either one, you do come flying out as you just saw. I'm glad the other two aren't open, but it is what it is. And you queue up to get your ring. Once the ones that come off ride in, they pass it to the next person, they head on up. There's a pretty neat feature out here as well before you ride. You can weigh your group to see if you're overweight. Obviously, if the light goes red, you can't ride. It just saves you going up to the top and being turned away. Now those slides that I showed you, the Wanu Way, they are the ones that are open, or two of them. Omaka Rocka, I thought it was Maka Rocka. Omaka Rocka are the ones that close, but you can still go up that way. And here they are. They're uh, single person tube slides. They're a bit slow, a bit timid, so I'm not too fast that they are shut today. But that's where they are. 
this round here, which I think is new to us. We haven't been here for three, four years. It's Kea Kea Ko. Now all the rides so far allow you to use GoPros, except the dolphin one, where you go through the dolphins. This one didn't allow me to use a GoPro. I assume because of the steep drop. So if we watch when they come down, they're gonna go up that wall. And it's a steep, steep drop. There they go. <laughs> that is probably why I couldn't use my uh, GoPro. I had to hold on. That's a lot of fun. And look at the queue now. It's right out here. Then just to the right of Kea Kea Curl is the start of the, one of the wave pools. But we're going to do all that bit last. We're going to do the beach area and the wave pool last. So we're going to walk past Wanu Way and head back to the entrance where we come, where it splits. We went left past the restaurant. This time we're going to go right. So we're back down at Kiwi Traders. We went left down there. We're now going to head right. You can buy a quick queue here at the park, but to save some money, I suggest getting out of bed and getting here for opening. So here's the self-service lockers. This locker rent or location is sold out. Again, another reason to get here early. Yeah. <laughs> you just type it in in the system. It's pretty easy. All the lockers are there. Restrooms are at the back. It's all pretty simple. And just past the locker rentals, there's a family dryer, which you definitely do not need in the peak of summer because I am fully dry already. This is what you can see from the entrance or across the bridge. This is the entrance to get a tube to go around the lazy river and to join the queues for them rides up there. We're gonna walk on down and have a look at these uh, rides up here. So we come to another restaurant, Banana Beach Cookout. Let's see what they do. Barbecue rib, barbecue burger, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger, barbecue pulled pork, barbecue chicken salad, buffalo chicken wrap. Sounds like nice. Sounds quite nice to be fair. Next to the Banana Beach restaurant, you got a couple more slides. Again, two people tube slides. I have not yet been on these either. It's getting very busy now, so line's quite long. And there are more lockers down here. So if you can't get one near the main entrance, there's plenty down here. There are plenty of signs around the park, so you will not get lost. Just know what you're looking for. That's them extra lockers I was on about. And we're gonna head on around here to their newest ride, or one of their newest rides, Ray Rush, which we did this morning. Ray Rush do first. But Walhalla Wave is also very good from what I remember. I haven't yet been on that because the queue is literally down to the floor. The queues are up there. That's one hell of a wait. And then this is when the mayhem starts. It's the kids area. Good if you've got kids, don't get me wrong. Plenty of seating. Massive area. If you don't have kids, you want to avoid this area. It's very loud. Very, very loud. A lot going on. But a lot of fun for the kids. I mean, I wish there was stuff like this when I was younger. It looks like a lot of fun. There's a treat stand right next to it. In case you need to top up or get a bit peckish. Honestly, this area is bigger than I thought. They've got that blue slide there. They've got a couple more around the back, which you might be able to see. There's a yellow and pink one just through there. It's massive. I mean, you can spend all day there with the kids. Wear them out. They're going to sleep well tonight. And then you've got the tomato racers. And you have to ride a mat head first. You lay on the mat and you come down the slides. It is literally what it says. It's a race. It's a lot of fun. Me and my brother did it this morning. Couldn't take the GoPro on for obvious reasons. But let's go have a little watch. So obviously you go head first into, a, uh, into the slide. It's all enclosed until you come out. There we go. That one smashed it. And you get some serious speed. <laughs> ah, so good. That's a lot of fun. To enter the queue though, you have to go around the back, grab your mat, and then walk it all the way up. There's another section to the Lazy River. You've got these like little islands that divide you. A lot of jets. You do get some good speed on here. It's a lot of fun. Me and my mum went around it for about a half hour. Another pathway split just by Mango Market. It's a grab and go uh, restaurant. Salads, wraps and sandwiches, kids meals, frozen cocktails, coffees. It's pretty much the same stuff all around the park, but we're gonna head down here first. If we went left by the ice cream truck, that takes you back around towards the entrance and to the beach and the water park. 
We're gonna head down here first, see what's down here. That's taking some rings up there, so assume there's some more slides because this is another kids area. Not as big, but just as busy, just as loud. These slides look pretty awesome for the kids. So as we go past the kids area, some more toilets. First aid's just there, which is pretty ideal, right next to the kids area. And then you've got the breakaway falls. So the blue and the green are drop towers. You stand inside that container thing, cross your arms and legs, the floor goes. And then that purple one to the left is just a pretty steep drop. And then you come out down here. This pool is empty. It says, close today, please use Cutback Cove wave pool. So for some reason, this pool's closed today. And you can hire these, if you don't want a cabana, you can hire these like special seating. That's a lovely view, but also has shade, which is pretty ideal. And then we head round to the other pool, which is the wave pool, very busy. I don't think the waves get very big, but the atmosphere is pretty good. It's well themed, this park. The rides are really good. I do enjoy this. This was my favorite park before Volcano Bay opened. So it is a good one. I do enjoy it, but it does get very busy during the day. So top tip, please get here for opening because you can do all the rides before it gets busy, unless you've got quick queue or you just fancy waiting or don't mind waiting. But as you can see the waves are going. And in the background, Mako just went. We'll be there tomorrow. And then as you walk up from the wave pool, up the beach, up the seating area, if you literally go dead straight, you've got the shop that we first was at, the restaurant, and straight ahead is the main entrance. So that is the complete tour, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go sunbathe. There's a bit of a storm coming. So we're gonna go ride some waves and then head on out before we get caught in it all. So as I make my way down to the waves, because it's got 20 seconds while we're waiting, just talk about this ride, because this is my personal fave. Uh, did some Ray Rush. They're the ones you gotta do. We're getting nice and early because the queue is still huge. Here's the countdown. <laughs> Here it comes. They're nowhere near as big as Typhoon Lagoon, but they are good for the kids and they do get going. 32 degrees if you saw that, it is hot today. Hence why I'm wearing my t-shirt because my shoulders are burnt. It's got a nice chill vibe to it. The ones at Typhoon Lagoon are just one wave, but it's like eight foot. The other thing to point out, if you've got kids and want to come in the wave pool, it is busy, where it's a bit more shallow. So if you want a good spot, I think it goes off every 15 minutes, get yourself in here. Whereas I'm leaving, you can do what these adults are doing. And just sit and chill. And let the waves take you, close your eyes, and imagine you're on the beach. That's the wave pool. So that's it for our time here at Aquatica, guys. We're headed on out. We've been here a long time. Um, it's getting a bit hot and it's getting very, very crowded. I do suggest getting here for nine when it opens, simply because you can get on the rides. There's hardly any queue. Um, you can beat the rush. You can get an umbrella on the beach. All them little things add up which make you manage to get everything done. Cause there's still, as I'm walking out, there's people coming in. So it does get very, very crowded. If you want to get stuff done, no stress, get here for opening. Favorite rides, Ray Rush, make sure you get on that. That is a family ride. That is very, very good. Um, if you want a two tube one, then ones me and my brother did, they were awesome. But the new one is definitely, definitely up there. With one of the best water rides in this park and maybe it can compete with some of the ones at Volcano Bay. But thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Any questions, please let me know and I'll answer as soon as possible. But I'll see you tomorrow. We're heading to SeaWorld, so uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's one of my faves. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.